Hello everyone, um, let's set up the kiosk pin server, it's plugged into the network, power is on, um, the lights are lighting up, orange, orange, green and two reds um, on the LEDs on the side. So let's go to um, my network connections here um, and you actually see by hitting the F5 key it will come up and refresh the unit. <coughs> so you have the kiosk pin server here it's a double click and it will open up your browser and if your browser is properly configured um, this is Morella Firefox by the way then you actually come to this screen which is the main info screen you got setup here um, setup client as well as system log require a password under the help you can actually see um, and find instructions for setup, how to print from ISO 6, ISO 7, quick print sheet, um, the Lucidium setup files, the QR9 images for a PDF file for the QR codes so you can download from the Android Play Store the app for the Android devices. So let's go back to the info screen. Um, what you have here is the firmware the clients which is three of them your current IP address which is automatically then you got your MAC address your Wi-Fi um, then the uptime how long it's been running when um, the information or uh, this is actually the time from the kiosk <coughs> the lifetime stats how many prints have been done the current stats and then our information and here you will find more information on kioskprints.com as well so let's go quickly into the setup where we actually go to um, admin and the password you will find in the instructions spelling would be good Here you actually have uh, the setup menu or window. So what you have here is your system key, which is unique. Then this is your license key. Um, right now this is a three license unit. There's an admin password which you can change to what it was from the default. This is the Wi-Fi SSID kiosk print. We leave the default, and then it's a Wi-Fi channel. If you have multiple Wi-Fi routers, where you can change it from 14 to 1, um, I just leave it on 7, and this is your Wi-Fi IP address. Ethernet, if you have it automatically or static, um, and NetBIOS, uh, which I don't recommend to take off, uh, otherwise this unit will not work necessarily, uh, but it can be taken off. Here's the reset of the pin stat, here's the restart the unit, um, the reset configuration I do not recommend to press, but it's there. Uh, it will actually take everything out um, and then you got the download configuration um, basically it's saved on the SD card so it's fine um, when we go to the clients this is where we basically set up your terminals so this is right now um, in the case of Lucidium AMP is the machine name then the infrared cache um, and again here I just have three kiosks shared over the network on the same terminal, Terminal 1, Terminal 2, Terminal 3 um, and then this description of the unit um, basically um, what I mean by this is uh, I'll show you later what is displayed on the phone the system log <coughs> here you can actually see if there's an error if it's not connecting correctly um, but so far if it's green everything is good um, yellow means error or there might be an error um, so we will see and then of course help files is all PDF so you have to have a PDF reader and printer to actually access these um, yeah at this point um, okay